to Bulgaria, where at least 45 people, including 12 children, have been killed in a bus crash near the capital, Sofia. Officials say the vehicle caught fire either shortly before or after the crash, which happened at around 2 a.m. Seven passengers survived the crash but have been transferred to a hospital with severe burns. Now, Bulgaria's Interior Minister Boris Rushkov visited the site. He called it a terrifying picture. In my experience, I have never seen anything like this. People are clustered inside, they are burnt to ash. That is why no one can say how many there are, nor who they are. They need to be identified from now on, person by person, which will be very difficult. All right, and I'm now joined from the Bulgarian capital, uh, Sofia, by the journalist Peter Sholokov. Um, it's good to have you on the program, Peter. Um, do you have more uh, of an update Hello. for us? We only know a few things so far. The accident happened, as you mentioned, at around 2 a.m. 45 people have died, unfortunately, including 12 uh, children. There have been reports that two of the children are twins. Uh, seven people were able to escape after the accident. The reason why so few people were able actually to escape after the bus took fire is that probably the first victim was the bus driver. Peter, do we know more about how, how this tragedy actually happened? There have been only speculations so far, but the government officials have stated that there are only approximately three versions right now. The first one is uh, technical malfunction. So the, there, there was probably a malfunction with the bus, maybe with the brakes, but we don't know this for sure. It's something that's going to be investigated. A second possible reason, uh, maybe the, the road, so the, the quality of the road could be poor because on this particular highway, the Struma Highway have been other accidents mm. uh, before that. So this is this is uh, 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 a possible reason as well for, for the accident. And a human error is right. the third possible explanation. But we don't know for sure. Mm. Experts say that because of the complexity of the accident, at least six months will be necessary in order for the Commission to reach a conclusion what exactly happened. Peter, we, we have to point out that Bulgaria has one of the highest rates of road deaths in the European Union. Why is that? Well, for 2019, we were actually behind only Romania in terms of road deaths. There were 63 people who died in 2019. One reason for this uh, is, unfortunately, the poor quality of highways, the poor quality of roads. The previous government, the government of Mr. Borisov, had been implicated in the number of um, many corruption scandals, including scandals, uh, scandals with embezzlement of funds uh, from Brussels that were used allegedly to build highways, mm. but the quality of these highways remains very, very poor, unfortunately. All right, that's the journalist Peter Cholokov uh, talking to us there from Sofia in Bulgaria. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.